I want to take a few minutes and just talk a little bit about my own journey as a worship leader. Uh, kind of where I started and some of the things that took place that really um, led to a transformation in, in my life as a worship leader. Uh, and it's really, now that I'm thinking about it, like I, it's been close to, you know, getting close to 25 years, uh, almost 25 years that I've been leading worship. Started out leading uh, like, in a, like a youth group environment. And really in that season, I, I looked at worship as kind of a stepping stone uh, if I'm honest, I thought of worship as like, <clears throat> you know, if you're not good enough to make it as like an artist in, in Nashville or LA or New York, you kind of settle for, for leading worship at a church. <laughs> that was honestly my, my thought um, in those days. And then something happened. I, you know, I, I landed in a small group at a church uh, in Colorado as a 17 year old and my whole view of God really shifted. Um, my life in God shifted, you know, up to that point, I really, I thought being a, a Christian, being a believer meant, you know, spend, spend like five minutes a day, you know, reading your Bible uh, and try to stay out of trouble. Like that was, <laughs> that's what I thought. Christianity was all about. <clears throat> and so at age 17, that totally shifted. And I ended up in a small group where, you know, I was surrounded by peers, high schoolers that were referring to God and interacting with God. Like there was friendship there. Like there was this, this real personal intimate relationship. And so over a six month period, my whole life in God radically changed. I would say God went from being kind of out on the fringe of my life in this little teeny compartment to being like at the center. Um, or where at least I was, that was my vision. I wanted him to be at the center of my life. And when that happened, my view of worship and worship leading changed. Instead of seeing worship leading as like a stepping stone, um, I, I started to look at it as, you know, the, like, like, I guess my, the thought going through my mind was, okay, if life is really at the end of the day about connecting with Jesus and, and bringing others into that place, what better could I do with my music than use it as, as a way for people to connect with God? So that was just a major turnaround, just a major shift for me. Um, you know, fast forward and a couple of years and I find myself in college in a really dark place where I really pulled back from the Lord, super distant, disconnected, um, still leading worship. But for, for a few years, like I, I felt like the worship leader that was leading, but at the same time, I felt like an observer. Like I was, I was not you know, really connecting with God. I was singing the songs, but my heart felt like it was a million miles away. And, you know, I, I felt like I was, I, I was watching other people, even as I'm leading, like I'm watching the Lord move and I'm watching people connect with God, but I was the observer. I've been in that place before. And, and then, you know, reconnected with Jesus and had my own life in the Lord really restored um, to where I, I'm, I, now I'm leading out of a place of, of intimacy with God and, and I'm leading, you know, from that place of connectedness with Him and instead of being an observer, I'm right there in the middle of it with, with the rest, with my singers and my band in the, the room, we're going somewhere together in God. <clears throat> I've been, you know, in the place uh, leading worship where 
it feels like I'm barely holding the band and the singers together. It feels like we're mildly out of control and I don't feel like we're, we're, we're just kind of going through the set list, going through the songs, just trying to get through the set. I've gone from that to a place where it's like I've learned through trial and error over the years and, and through the, the wisdom of others how to steer a band and how to steer singers um, in such a way where we can all get in the flow together and, and really go somewhere in God. Um, I've, you know, I've, I've been in the place where I'm leading worship and I feel like I'm kind of going through the motions and, you know, we're, we're just singing through the songs and, and the congregation's just kind of going with me and it's, and it's dry. I've gone from that to, you know, a place of, of learning how to connect with God through just being vulnerable before him, myself, just being present with myself, being vulnerable before the Lord and, and being sensitive to him, listening to him so that I can take my, my own heart and the room into a, just a special moment with God. And so it's, again, it's, it's been a crazy journey. It's been many years and I've, I've learned much along the way, but I look back and I'm just, I'm thankful and there's gratitude in my heart for where I've been and where I am and how the Lord's brought me through it.